What is up guys? We are talking Disney Cruise Line today. We are so excited, but specifically, we're gonna be talking all about the embarkation day, day one, what to expect, our experience, tips and tricks, so let's go. So in today's video, we're gonna have three different categories. Number one, things to do before. Number two, boarding or waiting to board. Mm -hmm. And then number three, when you're actually on the ship. Right. So let's start off with things to do before. The first thing that's very important is your check-in. Mm -hmm. And you wanna make sure that you do your check-in like right when the check-in opens. And that is kind of different depending on how many times you've cruised. So check out Disney's website and know the time zone when you can actually do mm -hmm. that. Because if you're the first or the, you know, first of few that are on there, you're gonna be able to get a early check-in. And what right. that means is you can get on the ship earlier in the day, mm -hmm. which is crucial because it's like yeah. what we call a bonus day. Right. And so you're able to have all the time to explore the ship while people are boarding all day. Yeah. So that is so crucial. You're, you're spending all this money on a Disney cruise. You want to get your money's worth yes. and get on the ship as, as you know, you want to be on the ship as much as possible. Right. And so making sure you get that early check-in mm -hmm. is crucial. Yes. So another thing you're going to want to do ahead of time, if there's certain things you're gonna to wanna to do as far as making appointments for, so that would be spa treatments or excursions, port adventures. Different classes. Classes. Polo. Polo, right. Also, um, if you have one in a baby in a nursery, you can make reservations ahead of time for that too. If you know, like you have, uh, you're getting a, sm a massage and you need you know, to book that time, so if you know your times, Definitely do those as soon as you can. And honestly, you could back out of those reservations. Yeah. So you don't have to pay for them right away. Right. So I would just make them. When in mm -hmm. doubt, make it. And then and then if you want to back off a little bit and get closer, you can. But right. It, it's better that way. That, so that way you Hold actually know you, yeah, you have it. Another thing to schedule is a call from a Disney friend. That's super fun. Our kids love doing that. And you can have Mickey and Minnie call them and say, hey guys, we're so excited to see you on our cruise. And it's super magical and really fun. So I would definitely do that if you guys have kids or just, I think we would we, do it for we us need too. To <laughs> we need to schedule ours actually. I know. Also making sure that you have all of your necessary documents, your passports, your, right. your copies of your birth certificates, like everything that you need, go on Disney Cruise Line, they'll let you know exactly what you need, mm -hmm. but make sure that you put that in a safe spot. We actually have this really cool like document holder, we'll link yeah. that below, but uh, we just put all of our stuff in there mm -hmm. after we book a cruise and uh, we just keep it in our stuff and make sure yeah. that you bring it mm -hmm. because uh, we actually had some friends who they were going on a cruise and they forgot some important documents. Yeah. We had to run by their house really fast, <laughs> take some pictures, send it to them so they can get on the ship, but it's yeah. just important to make sure you have all of your documents. And lastly for this category is arriving early, at least a day, but we actually do two days now because with, with <laughs> flights and everything and yeah. whatever you're spending so much for these Disney cruises and it would be such a bummer to, to miss it and that's mm -hmm. happened not to us personally but be, it's happened before for many of people mm -hmm. and it's just it's a bummer so um, at least a day maybe two just start your vacation without having to be all angst about something you know right. and uh, be able to kind of get in that vacation mode yeah. sit by the pool or something like that and just enjoy mm -hmm. before you get on the cruise all right we're hitting our next category and that's the boarding time. So this is the time I always get a little angst, make sure I have everything. So we're gonna just share with you guys some things we do. And in this process, we kind of repack a little bit because when you do get on the ship, they will take your luggage and you won't get it back till later um, when they bring it to your room. And it's usually fairly quick, you just never know and you wanna have the things you want. So some of those things we like to set aside would be like a swimming suit or any kind of you know medicines or you know if you need an extra pair of clothes, if you wanna change, whatever you need, just set those things aside and just have like a backpack, like your little day bag, so you're not waiting for your luggage. To and we're gonna be coming out with a video that is all about what we like pack for like our boarding. Mm -hmm. um, so that will come out soon. So if you have not subscribed to our channel, do that, ring the bell so you know when those videos come out. Yes. Because it is an important, important, you know, pack. Yeah. You know, because if yeah. you get there early in the day, you mean you have several hours, and so sometimes you might want to hit the pool or right. whatever, and you don't mm -hmm. want to be like, oh man, it's, it's back in my luggage. luggage. Yeah. With a thousand other pieces yeah. of luggage somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so you're about to board, and you're in what we call like the, the waiting tank, because mm -hmm. uh, you're waiting for your, your group to be called, depending on what, you know, what time you got for your check-in, right. uh, you'll, you'll kind of wait for that. And you go and start doing the security check and uh, giving your documents, mm -hmm. and they're gonna give you all the stuff, all the things. Yeah. 
yeah. all the goodies. If you your know. kids are going to the kids club, they get in their bands to yeah. check in and all stuff. All of that. Yeah. So it's, uh, yeah, it's good. So make sure that you have everything handy, ready to go. And again, when you're packing for boarding, making sure that you have all of your documents handy. And right. It's, on your carry-on, mm -hmm. not on the bags that are gone. Right. And so during that time of waiting, we actually pull out our Disney Cruise Line app mm -hmm. and we make sure that we're all connected so we can right. actually message each other mm -hmm. when we're on the ship. Mm -hmm. But we also start kind of planning out our day, yeah. seeing what's available. This is kind of a fun part. It is. Because we, you know, instead of just like waiting and like twiddling our thumbs, you know, waiting for, mm -hmm. our, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's fun to kind of say, oh, there, this is happening. Oh, look, check this out. We're going to be at, you know, this dinner tonight, right. like the rotational dining. You kind of see where you're at, you're bearing straight a little bit, mm -hmm. knowing what's going on. Yep, um, you'll be able to see the schedule on there for, yep. you know, if they have, usually they have the open houses the first day, so, you know, what you wanna check out, and just kinda get, you know, just a, a little itinerary going in your mind for for seeing the schedule. And again, like Justin shared, you get to see where you're gonna eat for dinner that night, so that's super exciting too, and just planning that all out. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, your group has been called. It is very exciting because you start Boarding the ship. Mm -hmm. What a glorious time. Yes. Welcome the Zachman family. Yay. Okay, so we're on the ship. It's so, so fun. fun. Everybody's Every, clapping it never, for it just you. never gets old. That's the thing about it. Never. Never gets old. <laughs> it's so fun. It's so fun. <laughs> it's just something about like people clapping for you to enter the ship. You're just like, thank you. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, anyways, so you're on the ship. We're gonna give you guys the things we do. Yeah. There's no wrong answer to be like, you have to go here, then you have to do this, you have to do this. You're on vacation. We're gonna give you like our You guys our do workflow. what you want. Okay. We're gonna share what we do. So no hate, this is just how we do things. So through this it. section, it's gonna be, yeah, it's just gonna be kind of our experience, what we do. Right. We'll have some tips, but we're gonna kind of just basically journey through our first day, yeah. our embarkation day. Yeah. So the first thing, come hungry, guys. Yep. I guess we should have, probably should have shared that before because you're gonna wanna eat. And the first our cruise, very the first, first cruise, cruise yes, we share. did not come hungry. No. We ate we before. Didn't know. We didn't know. <laughs> and so we ate this massive, really good lunch that we paid for. Yeah. And then we like get on there and then everyone's like going like, well, we're hearing so like, we're hearing like, like, what should we do? And they're like, go to the buffet. We're yeah, like, people are like, cabanas. Buffet? Like, what's, what's, what? a, what's a cabana? Yeah. Like, I just hear like, cabanas, cabanas. I'm like, what's a cabana? And so we yeah. walk all the way over there and we're like, wait, what? And then when we saw the spread, we're like, oh, I'm just piling on the shrimp and just now, this got is, all this food yeah. and desserts and drinks. Yeah. We're like, this is amazing. So come hungry, go eat. We like to hit up cabanas. It's just tradition for us, but there are other restaurants that are open for lunch. So you can do sit a down. sit down mm -hmm. meal as well. So whatever you want to do. It really but depends. Um, I like to get our belly full first. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> and, and you know, and talking about like what you should do if you should do like cabanas or, or like or or like you know the buffet. Yeah. Um, or a sit down. It really depends on your style. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, sometimes sit down could be just easier. Right. Because if you have little kids, um, you're not having to worry about oh, tag plate. team. Right. Yeah. And then it's like you For know, sure. you stay here. I'll go and get the food. Come back and yeah. you know that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, our kids, you know, are a little bit older at this point, so they can kind of hold their own trays and yeah. stuff. But even when they're younger, we still we still did cabanas and the reason why is because we want to enjoy ourselves eat but the the sit down does take a lot longer yeah and we want to start kind of getting the lay of the land of the ship so that's why we opt into the fast route yeah and also we don't really go to cabanas for like lunch or that anything lunch, the rest yeah. of the cruise and so we, we usually you know breakfast. we do breakfast and stuff mm -hmm. and so if this is like kind of our, our only time ish sometimes we still kind of yeah. go in there but it's our main time to get lunch at cabana so yeah that's what we do, that's what we do. and now our bellies are full we're very 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 happy mm -hmm. at this point mm -hmm. Lacey has had all of her crab legs <laughs> uh lots of them <laughs> plate is filled with crab legs and i just yeah. had i don't know random stuff Probably mac and cheese is on the plate for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. I feel like whenever I go to buffets, mac and cheese is always on my plate. Oh, for Even sure. if I don't eat it, I just And my like, chicken tendies, for sure. <laughs> chicken tendies are always on your plate. Our friend Chris always talks about all her, her brown food, is it? She says, <laughs> her brown she's all my food's brown at Cabanas. I love it. Okay, so you have that, you're excited, and now it's time to go explore the ship. Yep. And this is really crucial because sometimes you're only on the ship for maybe three or four nights mm -hmm. uh, or seven you know whatever but still i feel like when you're on a big ship especially if you've never been on this ship before it takes almost the entire time to get your bearings straight yeah on where everything's at right you know where that where aft is where forward is mm -hmm. like where midship is whatever and so this we really take this part seriously and we explore the entire ship mm -hmm. the first things we usually do 
is we go to all the kids clubs. Right. And because they are all open, it's called mm -hmm. open house. Yeah. So you can go into all the spaces that normally adults can't go into. Right, because so, throughout yeah. the rest of your cruise, they sometimes will do open house for little windows, maybe in the morning or whatnot, but for the most part, it's just closed to kids. Yeah. So we do take advantage of that. And then when you're in the kids club, it's great because it's a time for the kids to kind of familiarize themselves mm -hmm. with what this is all about, yeah. see the spaces, and so they're excited to go back into it. Right. But also, we can actually make sure that they are all checked in, right. ready to go. Mm -hmm. If you have an infant or a baby, um, that's crucial because they're going to like ask you lots of questions mm -hmm. about, you know, I mean, you might want to explain yeah. it more. Yeah, with the nursery, it's really nice because you, they'll give you a form to fill out, and then while we're there, we even made like another reservation because we knew later we were gonna have, go to a show, and you can do that while you're there too, so it's really nice and it was just so fun getting to meet like all the staff there yeah. because then throughout the cruise I just remembered them from that open well, house. It's kind of like more of an intimate time you know yeah. to be able to get to know them a little bit it is. Like, especially yeah. in this small world mm -hmm. and so yeah that was great because we made some good connections and every right. single time we're kind of it was just an awesome experience. Yeah. Back to what Lacey said about reservations is you know you can try to plan as much as you want before the cruise but when you get on the ship and you start seeing all the activities mm -hmm. you're like oh wow that would be cool to do this and so yeah that's a great time to start booking more reservations. We had, we saw this lady in front of us who literally booked her entire cruise, mm -hmm. uh, made reservations right then and there, yeah. and you can do that. And so, you know, m get there early, mm -hmm. check it out, see the spaces, make mm -hmm. reservations, and uh, know what's up. Yeah. Now, if there was a reservation that you were like, oh my goodness, like I wanted to get this reservation. Maybe you wanted Apollo and you just, they're all sold out. Right. If it's really important to you, you might want to do this before you even get food yeah. uh, or anything, but go to customer service and see if they have any more reservations. And sometimes they actually do. People cancel last mm -hmm. minute. And yep. so they're like, yeah, actually we have a reservation for tonight or tomorrow or whatever. Yeah. And if you have any questions or concerns or anything like that, go to customer service. They're there to help. Yep. So by this time of the day, your room might be ready. So we always like to check and see. And you'll start seeing luggage going down the halls too. And they're going to start delivering that slowly. So we love the moment where we get to open the door and see our room. It's yeah, so it's, exciting. Yeah, it's funny. It always yeah. works out super well. So yeah. it's like we get our food, food, you know, we get our bearings straight, we check mm -hmm. in, we look around the entire ship, we see everything, the pool deck, we go. Yeah. Oh, we um, get ice cream for sure. Ice yeah. cream, you know, we, we do all of that. Like seriously, <laughs> right. we explore everything. We go to yeah. the theater, we see we see everything. Yeah. So understand that we spend some time. A lot of time. Okay. Yeah. Doing all of that, going into, you know, like the, the teen section, we mm -hmm. go everywhere, mm -hmm. everywhere. And it's awesome. Yeah. Okay. And then by that time, usually our room is ready. Yeah. We go in and we're like, yes. Mm -hmm. We can actually start making our home. Making <laughs> our home space. And that's what we do. Spot. That's yep. the next thing we do yep. is we then take this very seriously. Mm -hmm. We don't leave the room until everything is unpacked. Yeah. We get everything where it's supposed to be and you'll start seeing, you know, luggage. So usually luggage is delivered then and so we can just put everything away. The beds are high so it's nice and put our suitcases away after we unpack, put everything in the drawers and just start feeling like our home base is just ready. So you're not just doing it throughout the cruise and you just feel unsettled. You can put magnets on your door during this time if you could do that. Just getting things feeling like your your yep. space. Yeah. So it, we we yeah. honestly we love this time mm -hmm. so much and it's always like exciting for us yeah. to unpack yeah. and to hang your clothes and all that kind of stuff. Right. And then usually during this time you'll get to meet like your room hostess. Yep. So we've had that time before they'll come by and say hi and introduce themselves. And it was so nice. Last time I remember they asked me, he's like, do you guys need anything? And I was like, actually, yeah, like I would love a diaper genie for our room for our baby. And he had it in there like so fast. Yeah. So things like that. And again, I know Justin talked about customer service. You could, you know, always ask for those things there. But if they ask you, I was like, uh, that would be awesome. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So if there's cool. anything in your room that you need, or mm -hmm. if you want the the bunk bed down, or you know, they'll ask all those kind of yeah. questions, all How your you like preferences. Your um, so you can say, hey, my preferences are this. They're gonna make sure that everything is, is perfect for you right. and it's awesome. And right. so yeah, take some time, get to know your room, mm -hmm. unpack. You don't, I just, I don't wanna be unpacking throughout the cruise, you right. know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. we wanna spend 30 minutes mm -hmm. and just do it. And honestly, because we go explore the whole ship, we're ready just to get in our room and have yeah. like some introvert time anyway. Yeah, just you know what I mean. Just out. like chill out. So it's I think it's a perfect Pop on setup. Some Disney cartoons. Oh yeah, and if yeah. you have, if you have a veranda, you just go out there and just you know see see yeah. the port and see oh, everyone kind of so getting fun. ready to go. It, yeah. it, it's just a good time. I can't stress this enough: is make sure you spend some time with your room host and let him know early on your preferences, mm -hmm. uh, because they they want to. It 
makes their job easier too, honestly. Because, right. you know, you get so busy uh, throughout the day and then you have the show and you have dinner and all this kind of stuff. And so yeah. that, there's that time to really just kind of like hone in and have those conversations and get everything squared away. Yep. Okay, so your belly is full. You know exactly where everything is at, or kind of, mm -hmm. on the ship. Mm -hmm. uh, your room is all ready to go and it's all unpacked. You feel pretty good. Mm -hmm. And there's one thing that we all hate, but we have to do, and that is the mustard drill. Oh my goodness, no one likes it. It's just one of those things, but just get yeah. it done. It's very important right. because if something does happen, goes wrong, uh, you'll need to know where you need to be. Yes, because uh, everybody has their own spot. Spot mm -hmm. in case something happens with the ship. So, yeah. you know, it has to happen. And it, honestly, just get there, get there on time yes. because everyone has to do it. Yeah. And there's people who just, they don't want to come mm -hmm. and you have but to wait. Everybody else has to wait until they come. <laughs> so it's just like, guys, just let's get it done. Let's just get it done, you know? So after this, we usually go and go on deck, maybe mm -hmm. do pool time, um, get a you know a drink, mm -hmm. hang out, just yeah. relax, you know, it's right. just time. Have another ice cream cone. Yeah. Why not? That's what we do. Uh, <laughs> it's just it's, it's, it's just fun. Yeah. And then we then wait for the sell away party. And yes. we always do the sell away party. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of a tradition. And yeah. what they do is Basically this, you get on deck and they're like, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is exciting because mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about work. You don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. You leave it all behind because you're going on a Disney cruise. Right. There's a whole part of Mickey and Minnie yes. come out and you know, they're just all- So the, fun. Yeah it's, yeah, it's all good. And everyone's right. cheering and excited because we are on vacation right. and we <laughs> then leave. Yeah, yeah. And our last cruise, we had kind of bad weather so they couldn't do it then, but we got to do it the next day mm -hmm. and it's just, still felt just as magical because we were already like, whoa, we're on vacation mode. Yeah. And, and then it put us even more on vacation mode. Yeah. So it's super fun. And it's just like a way to be like, you know what? We're leaving. Yeah. You get to hear the magical horn go off yep, and good. say goodbye to everybody. Say goodbye. It's super fun. Well, like she said, is sometimes the weather is not good at port and so yeah. we can't do it. Mm -hmm. um, it is unfortunate when that happens, but they always make the best of it. Yeah. They usually A, will do it inside right. or they'll wait for the next day or something like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So they usually try to still do it, which yeah. is great. Yeah. But it, it's become a tradition for us mm -hmm. and it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And then after that, we will then do some swimming. We will go and check out some different spaces yep. and go to the Coke Cafe. We yeah. just kind of relax, enjoy. Mm -hmm. then, Sometimes the shops are open by now. Mm -hmm. So like the shops and yep. check those out. And just, yeah. Just, Maybe hit up like a, a, a fast trivia before dinner or something. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. That actually is probably <laughs> in the cards. Uh, and then we'll, yeah, we'll go to dinner and we'll uh -huh. go and we'll do our show, depending if you have late dining or, or main dining, whatever that yep. is. And then we, yeah, just kind of call it a night after that. Yeah. But it's it's a good day. It is it's a good such day. a fun day. It's it's one of our favorite days, mm -hmm. the day one. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that's why you guys have asked us a lot of questions about what right. we do on the day one because it is, you know, you kind of want to know. You want to you yeah. want to play it smart. You only have so much. You only have day one once. Yes, you know what I mean. For sure. And uh, there's a lot to do, and there's a lot you can see if you play your cards right. Um, you get the early check-in. Our first cruise, we did it all wrong. We got there late. We had we didn't really realize that you can you know check in and mm -hmm. get an early check-in, all this kind of stuff. Yeah. And so we got there late. We didn't explore the ship. We had no idea what was happening. We already ate before, yeah, we ate before. <laughs> so, but we still had an amazing cruise. Yeah, but we so learned was, we learned a lot. Yeah. We learned a lot, and we've learned like what to do right. and um, just to make the most out of your cruise. Yes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions let us know below. Also, if you wanna comment below like what your flow is, mm -hmm. what you like to do, let everyone know below in this yeah. community because it's kind of fun like looking through and kind of see everyone else's right. tips and tricks because again, honestly, you can't do this wrong. Mm -hmm. Actually, you can do it wrong. We did it wrong the first time. <laughs> but did but we still have a good time? We did. And Absolutely. that's the thing. We will always have a good time. So, but yeah, let us know and thank you so much yeah. for hanging out with us. And again, mm -hmm. we're going to have more Disney Cruise content coming up. Uh, so make sure you ring that bell and subscribe if you have not subscribed. Mm -hmm. We love you guys and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.